All right, so in this video, we do have a Libra Sun, a Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. A monthly tarot reading February 2020 on our hands. And before we start with the reading, guys, uh, if you are interested, if any of you is interested uh, to getting in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below uh, in this video. And uh, there you're gonna find a, a link to my website. So this is going to be an an eight card, a spread, and the very first card, which stands as the topic of your month Libra here. We do have the death card, which is very similar to the Virgo. Now uh, Virgo had the same card. So let's see what are going to be the energies that are surrounding the topic and the team that is going to be the strength card. Now, next one uh, is going to be uh, re um, related to the challenges that you will need to overcome here. That will be the Queen of Wands, followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And we do have the Lover's card. All right. So uh, furthermore, we do have how people are going to take on you and uh, what kind of an impression you're going to leave in the people around you, friends and family, beloved ones, um, social circles, you know, working environment, etc, etc. That will be the night of ones. Uh, next one, it is what can improve uh, drastically your circumstances. OK, and uh, what it will contribute for manifestation of your long term goal, whatever that goal is, uh, we have the three of cups. Next one is what is going to deteriorate drastically your circumstances and what is going to uh, hurt your long term goal, whatever that goal is. We have the justice and last one here is the guidance and that will be the two of cups. And this is the most important one in this case. OK. Guidance the Tower is offering, it's you of cups. So, uh, even though the first card, it is the same uh, as with the Virgo, the uh, aspect of your month, it is extremely different. And here throughout this month, uh, it is the month where you make your stand, okay? And uh, it's more like a, it's not just like letting go, uh, it's more like, uh, reversing a course or changing a course of events or even of your life this time around in a direction that you want it to be and not in the direction that you have been told you gotta go in okay so that being said we move to the next uh, to the first two cards which are the topic and the energy supporting the topic we do have these two and the death card is pretty no-brainer here it means that this is be a, this is going to be a month of changes because the death it is all about that it is about one thing ends and another takes its place a new life comes around um now with the death card you need to know that these changes are in are kind of like are taking place where um things are not unfolding anymore okay so for example if your job is kind of like you are stuck into your job this is where the change is going to take place if you are stuck into your love life this is where the change is going to take place however this time around um these changes does not have to be like losing things but it could be like a uh, related to a jumping into the next level of things and that is dictated by the energies which is the strength card here which points that you will have the uh, ability to persevere through patience and through oppositions as well and you are going to find the right if you will attitude how to push forward and have the things exactly the way you want them to uh, the way you want to have them and as we know the guidance card here that will be related to your emotional state here with the two of cups we're going to get there in a few minutes okay but this time around instead of once again like you will have to do what you have been told to do in a certain norms and code of conduits all right this time around you are going to take the matters in your own hands in the month of February and you're going to do the thing uh, the things or you're going to do the things in a such a way that makes you feel good okay makes you feel loved for example and in generally makes you feel um, fulfilled 
So just to summarize with those two cards here, uh, the Death and the Strength Heart, um, I would say that the old world order for you is over. Uh, say your family dictated the rules up until this moment or your uh, career, or the demands of the market have dictated the rules of to your career. These are just examples, guys. This is going to be no longer. This time around, it seems that you are going to put an end into it and you are going to, uh, let's say, straight. Uh, toward a direction that you want. Is it going to be successful? Well, that remains to be seen, but it's going to be your direction. And uh, for what it seems from the other cards that we are going to take a look at right now, um, it's all about... It's all about... <laughs> I don't know how to even say it. I don't want to say that it's all about love, all right? But it is all about a, a harmoniously living your life moving forward into the future. So what is going to be the challenge here? And it's um, it's pretty obvious with the Queen of Wands. Uh, that will be a person who does not want you to take this new path into your life. It is because you are serving a great purpose to that person. I don't want to say woman because the queen could be a woman, but it could be a man as well. Most likely a woman, but it could be a man as well. A male, that is. Uh, queen of Wands, it, it kind of has uh, this um, acute business sense and also a acute understanding into the nature of the people that it is working or it is finding herself in meaning that she knows you very well and knows how to manipulate you, how to push your buttons, if you will. And the thing is that you are serving certain purpose for her. It is because this queen always moves toward a, um, how can I say it, growth and improvement. That's obvious with everybody, uh, with every one of us. But unlike the other court cards, with exception of the King of Wands, uh, the Queen of Wands, uh, it's uh, like a, uh, using other people for her own needs and for her own means as well, okay? So um, that being said, uh, with uh, this new wake-up call that you're gonna have, uh, Libra, throughout this month, um, this person will start losing grasp upon you and therefore upon your resource resourcefulness, okay? That could be, say, your mother does, that does not want you to be with a specific person and you finally say, well, what the hell, you know, or what the heck, I'm going to be regardless. Or that could be your father that does not want you to work a specific job. It is because that is going to drift you from the family business where you can say, what the heck, you know, I'm going to just try it. It's because what's going to make me happy. Okay, so this month is all about how you can make yourself happy and not how or what other people tells you that is gonna make you happy, all right? So it's more like um, being more insubordinate with, but, but with this insubordination, you know, uh, you are to stir your life into a, a point where, you know, you're gonna be uh, quite happy of it. Now, next one, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy Libra throughout this month, and that will be the lover's card. Well, needless to say, the lover's card, it could signify relationship, okay? But if it is about a new formed relationship, it is a long road for you to walk on before you can manifest it into something that you can consume, all right? And uh, for that, very soon, I'm going to start releasing series about the tarot cards so you can watch it and understand why. But the thing is that um, it will, it should, if it is about a new person, it should start like a flirting, you know, and getting to know each other just so you can understand or you, you are to find out that there are many things that are making you different from one another. And if you do not accept that these differences are making you special to one another, but instead drifting your path and nothing can happen but for those who are uh, who can look outside of the box and actually make peace with that everybody is different things are going to be beautiful and so on and so forth so you can take it that the gift and the blessings gives you a unique person to work with on a an intimate point additionally to that as the gifts and blessings here you do have quite a life life-changing decisions to make 
throughout this month of February. And those decisions for one or another way are going to change your life drastically, okay? And the change itself, which is uh, listed by the death card, is going to be neutral change. It all comes to what you can make out of it and not how you enter into it, okay? And with that being said and having the strength card into the energies, it will be best here to, um, to choose in favor of what you want instead of what you have to because you have the luxury to do so. You know, uh, most of the time the choices are made for us, but as a gift and blessings, this time around for you, Libra, that's not going to be the case and you can make your choice for you. So for a change, guys, make a decision so it fits you and it it is not kind of like a uh, cons concerned with whatever the, the heck everybody else thinks. And on a more practical level with the gifts and the blessings of the lover's card, uh, this month is going to be a month of problem solving, meaning that a lot of issues that are kind of like aggravating you or irritating you or you're finding them very annoying are going to be resolved with a uh, very little of a performance from your behalf. So many of them as well are going to be resolved literally on their own accord. So there you go. Month of February is going to be quite a, very, a big thing for you. And uh, hopefully, not hopefully, but definitely at the end of the month, you are going to have s much less tro troublesome things to worry about and much more exhilarating or kind of like a, uh, a good things to look forward to. So how people are going to look at you? What's uh, kind of an impression you're going to live into the society here? We have the Knight of Wands. And this card, uh, it kind of represents uh, the insubordination that people are going to see at you. This is everything that they're going to see in you, okay? They're going to see you as a quite enterprising. They're going to see you as a quite so an energetic person, but as well as someone that they cannot rely on. And that is kind of understandable. Once again, this month, it will be your month to shine. This month is going to be the month where you do something for yourself and um, kind of like dictate the direction that your life goes from now on, from the months of February, uh, disregarding the needs of everybody else, maybe with exception of your children, okay? But also people are going to see you, well, it's, uh, it's quite a very contradictory here, but because as well, they're not going to, the, the people around you are not going to lose a hope into, um, into your good intentions, like, for example, helping them with whatever they need. Uh, so it's kind of like they're losing a trust in you that you are going to follow them. But in the same time, they can rely on you if they need help with someone with something. So it's not like you are going to be a follower, but let's say you are to be a an equal partner to uh, to what people were expecting from you to do. And um, on top of that, people were going to see you this time around quite de determined and uh, we take, or how can I say it? So quite determined to see this change manifesting itself through and as well, um, enthusiastic about it. But that was not the only thing that I was about to say. Uh, it's more like ready to or being determined to do what it takes. Okay, so once you make up your mind, there is nothing to swirl you away from that decision. And um, for some, or this is the way I think, for some, this will be a quite valuable tra trait. It is because once you set sail into a specific course, then nothing can, you know, uh, discourage you of it and that is a pretty pretty valuable uh, once again a trait. So what can improve your circumstances drastically throughout this month? Uh, we have the, tr the three of cups okay so uh, it's a pretty broad card in relation to the death and the strength at the start so that card points that your circumstances on their own, once you start taking things into your own hands and you start doing, um, doing things the way you like them to do and doing in, gen in doing in general 
things that you like to do instead what you have been told to, you're going to start seeing a uh, immediate improvement in yourself, into your circumstances once again. And yeah, while it is true that people that you do know up until now may start losing faith in you or rather like they, they may find you a bit unreliable at that point, you are to attract new people in there which vision uh, is going to be shared with you, meaning that they're going to find you as a quite unique individual, if you will. And it's kind of like you're going to have the, the same points of view and you are going to be on the same page, which will allow you to share your emotional states with many around, even though you may not know them at the start of months of February. And uh, that could be as well, you know, people that you have lost may return at that particular point. But with the Three of Cups, it's very important to find those whom you can relate emotionally with rather than those who can relate materially with, all right? So think about that. This is what is to improve your circumstances. Instead of searching the security of the material aspects of our life, you deliver this month, you have to search the security of the emotional fulfillment throughout, uh, throughout the month of February. And that it is what is going to improve your circumstances. Next one, it is what is going to deteriorate your circumstances and, um, uh, is going to hurt your long-term goal, whatever that goal is. We have the justice and uh, that is quite the opposite here, what we have, because justice is all about taking on your responsibilities, okay? Or it's not even the responsibilities, but taking on your place in the current code of conduit, right? So that being said here, justice completely counteracts the death card and the the flux of things that you can let go of so you can replace them with whatever the hell with, with whatever the heck you like instead of dealing with things you don't like but you are enforced to think that they are somewhat mand mandatory for you so it's kind of like the justice is exactly that to stick on to what have been told to you is mandatory instead of you know um excommunicating it and uh, uh recognizing to yourself that you are the only one who can decide what is mandatory for you and what it isn't okay and on another uh, on a more practical level here the justice points that you can get away with a lot of stuff that you are doing and that's that is another prerequisite and another reason why this month around you should do things you like rather than the things you have to do and have to is quote in quote because this have to is determined not by the course of events, but it is determined by people around you who has you by the balls, okay? And the last card that we do have for you, Libra, that will be the guidance that Tara is offering, and this is to be the Two of Cups. So first of all, if you can fall in love, if you can go for love or you can revive a love, in this month well that is the thing you go for okay but guidance wise you need to seek emotional um, uh, you need to seek cooperation and unity with people or with a person that can emotionally respond to you rather than materially respond to you another um, uh, another guidance from this card it is that pride and shyness are going to uh, plummet you so much instead of instead of excelling you so if you do want something ask for it guys because if you don't ask for it the answer always is going to be unfortunately no right so uh that being said this was your monthly tarot reading libra for a uh, february 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye